Right now, I am on an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea to learn how to fly underwater on one of those. Archie, that was sick. Let me introduce you to Archie O'Brien. He is an inventor and he is changing the way that people explore underwater. Archie, I have so many questions, but the first two are, how fast can I learn how to do that? And when can I get in the water? Well, Mark, the good news is you're gonna learn pretty fast, but first, let's show you your jetpack. All right. Wow, oh my goodness. Archie, what am I, what am I looking at right here? This here is the world's first underwater jetpack. I am so excited to get in the water and do what we just saw you doing. But tell us how this happened. You invented this. That's right. So about seven years ago, I was free diving in Koh Tao in Thailand. And I like speed, so I thought this would be a lot cooler if I could do it really fast. So once I got back to England, I, I sketched out some ideas and uh, was looking to see if I can fit this much power into a unit that fits on your back. Explain to us exactly how this operates. Since we're on the table, I'm going to lay this one down as that comes up. That's off, as simple as that. And then the, the harness, that provides a lot of the buoyancy to the user. Um, so this will keep you balanced in the water when you're resting in between dives. The mounts here, top and bottom, is where the jetpack clip into. And that allows you, when you move your body, even the slightest movements, that you'll change direction. So the movement through the water is super intuitive. The power is all in here. Let's take a look at the power unit. This is, guys, check this out. Look, it has jets. Two jets. Two jets. The water comes in here and then it gets fired out the back and that's what allows you to move through the water. It's a flying feeling. Your brain very quickly forgets that, that you have this and you just feel like it's superhuman. And I'm assuming this is how we operate the this, jet. Yeah, this is the controller. It's super simple. So once you're in, all you do is squeeze. That works in the same way if you ever played Skeletrics, the little cars that go around the track. Sure, it's a very, very similar concept to that. So it's super intuitive. And it's something you forget about really, really quick once you're actually in. Okay, now that we know the basics of the underwater jetpack, it's time to get it in the water. All right, guys, the time has come and we have made it to my training ground. Now, what you see behind me is a protected cove and it has a white sand bottom. So it is the perfect environment for me to try out these underwater jetpacks. Now, Archie and the guys are bringing down the equipment right now. We're gonna put our harnesses on, put the packs on, and get out into the water to see if I can actually do this. Now you'll notice we're not using any air tanks. These underwater jetpacks are for free diving only, which allows you to move at higher speeds and is much more maneuverable than a scuba dive. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go flying underwater. Archie gets under the water using a technique called duck diving. This move is the foundation for all possibilities while using the underwater jetpack. But before I can maneuver like Archie, I have to get the hang of using the throttle. Whoa. Wow. First trial run on an underwater jetpack surface test. Fish went the wrong way. Got the hang of the with control now, so okay. Slowly, the next thing we got to do is, is just get you in and under. After only a few minutes in the water, Archie was already showing me how to do the duck dive. What we want to do is get our arms out a little bit. We want to lean forward and then head down, bum up, squeeze the throttle. Now, if you feel like you're going too deep, too quickly, let go of the throttle a bit and pull up. Okay, got it. It took a few tries to get the hang of it. <laughs> okay, I'll try that again. But when I finally did, it felt like I was instantly flying underwater. Oh, <laughs> 
was awesome. Whoa, it is like <laughs> so much different than I thought it was gonna yeah. be. Wow, like cruising. Yeah, absolutely. I felt like a torpedo. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, should we go back? Yeah. All right. My first impression at the surface was just how powerful the jetpack was. It moved my body around with ease, and it was obvious that it could go much faster. It's hard to put into words what I just experienced, but I'm going to try. It is a rush. You get underwater and you immediately feel like you're a rocket. It's like being a fighter jet. I've never experienced speed like this underwater. To say I was flying underwater is exactly how it feels. You're like Superman. This is definitely the closest I've ever been to feeling like a real life superhero. And I can only imagine the adventures these jetpacks are gonna take me on moving forward. And with that, we're gonna go back and charge up our batteries so we can head out into the water again. But this time, we're raising the stakes so we can see what these jetpacks can really do. All right, here we go, guys. Dive site number two. It's time to take it up a notch. Let's see if I can get the jetpack out there and do some awesome maneuvers. Here we go. On this dive, we'll be exploring a rockier environment filled with a maze of seagrass. The goal is to navigate this deeper water where Archie can show me some advanced moves. But first we have to get there. Perhaps one of the hardest urges to fight when I was first going down with the jetpack was to maneuver my arms and legs. Instinctively, you want to kick and you want to use your hands to move around. But with the jetpack's power, you don't need to move your hands or feet at all. You just need to hold your breath and move your core around and point the jetpack in the right direction. It does the rest. As I got more confident, it became easier to hold my breath, allowing me to stay down longer and travel much further on a single gulp of air. I was also starting to feel like I had complete control of where I was flying, so I started trying some advanced maneuvers, knowing that the floating vest would bring me right to the surface if any of the moves didn't work out. I tried to learn like the bank feel. Yeah where it's like trying to force it to go one way doesn't work. And like just subtly like yeah. angling your body, you just go that direction. Unlike the sandy bottom of the training ground, the contour of all the seagrass and the rocks made a fun obstacle course to maneuver around. My goal was to try to get to some of the maneuvers that I was seeing Archie do. But after a few more pointers, I was finally able to pull off that instant flip underwater. I even got in my first barrel roll. <laughs> that was awesome. Once I really got the hang of the maneuvers, Archie and I could fly right next to each other like two fighter jets moving through the sky. Except of course, we were about 20 feet under the water. Archie, man, that was unreal. I cannot believe how much fun I had out there with these underwater jetpacks. Thank you. You're more than welcome, Mark. Great to see you today, learning in the, in the shallows and now coming out into the sea grass. It was really something quite special. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us in Corsica. This has been one of my favorite adventures of all time. 
the Kuda Jet Underwater Jetpack completely exceeded all of my expectations, and I cannot wait to get back out there to see what else I can do with this amazing technology. If you want to learn more about Kuda Jet and their amazing underwater jetpacks, click the link in the description below, or visit their YouTube channel to see more action of underwater flight from around the world.